What better way to spend an afternoon reading than to some cats and dogs? The Animal Welfare League of Kosciuszko County helped build connections between kids and animals today. Wayne 15's Taylor King saw the companions together. Furry friends had a relaxing afternoon. Volunteers read to cats and dogs. This was a part of their Literacy for Companionship program. Here's a look at the companions reading stories to their sheltered animals. I know. Can you believe my dad barked? Young volunteers were encouraged to be a part of the Literacy for Companionship program. For students, this gives them an opportunity to be more comfortable with reading out loud. So it's all about the kids coming in, reading to the animals, being comfortable reading out loud. It's so important in the classrooms. Children can read out loud. Um, and in turn, um, our pets are hearing these soft, innocent little voices. And so it's a win-win. I mean, it's, you can see some, from some of the pictures, the dogs take it in, the cats take it in. And it teaches the kids to read out loud. And then even when they're going home, if they have their own pet, read their bedtime story, read it out loud. Um, and it's just building up the confidence for the students. The companionship from the animal's perspective is one that takes time to build trust with the kids that come to read to them. Animals, I mean, an animal is either dropped off at our shelter or it's been abandoned. So now it's been with the family for numerous years. All of a sudden it's running loose, it's been picked up, um, and it's in a whole new environment. It's hearing the barking dogs, it's hearing, you know, different people working with it. So. Being with the children, I mean, it's, they're hearing their soft voices, like I said before, and they're being held and they're being comforted versus, you know, this is a big world and they didn't ask to be dumped on the side of the road. Um, just teaching them to love again. Love them so much that they forget about what's happened to them in the past. The Literacy for Companionship Incorporated has watched many children grow and are thrilled to see the progress they have made. Amazing to watch these children grow. Some of them come back month after month, year after year. And to be able to see that, it really touches your heart. Anyone can sign up and volunteer anytime during the week. For more on these furry friends, head to Wayne.com. Taylor King, Wayne 15 News. What a cute story.